Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui, j'ai participé au sommet des dirigeants du Partenariat des Amériques à Washington. C'est un sommet qui rassemble 12 pays de l'hémisphère occidental et qui est organisé par le président Biden. Et je vais revenir à ma rencontre avec le président Biden dans quelques instants. During the APEP summit today, we talked about the economy, climate action, the geopolitical context in the world right now, and the importance of democracy. During these turbulent times, it is more important than ever to work with close partners in the hemisphere to strengthen our supply chains, protect ourselves from the impacts of climate change, and ensure stability, which is essential to prosperity. For example, earlier this year, to help build climate, resi climate resilience, Canada partnered with the Inter-American Development Bank Group and committed $5 million to promote the use of nature-based solutions in Latin America and the Caribbean. Une autre façon d'assurer la stabilité, c'est de créer des bons emplois dans chacun de nos pays, y compris pour les membres des communautés marginalisées. Ça va être le but de l'initiative d'accélération du Partenariat des Amériques qu'on va créer avec les États-Unis et l'Uruguay pour soutenir les entrepreneurs dans ces communautés. To promote stability, we're also, we also need to help the millions of refugees, asylum seekers and migrants in Latin America and the Caribbean. Since June, Canada has continued to welcome record numbers of migrants and refugees from the Western Hemisphere. And we are committed to help, helping migrant hosting communities on the ground, too, by investing towards better access to clean water, education, and other basic necessities. Comme je l'ai dit plus tôt, il faut continuer d'encourager la stabilité parce qu'un monde plus stable, ça veut dire plus de sécurité et de prospérité pour tous. Et c'est pour ça qu'on est ici aujourd'hui, et c'est pour ça qu'on va continuer de collaborer de près avec tous nos partenaires des Amériques. Évidemment, les dirigeants suivent tous la situation au Proche-Orient, et on a eu plusieurs conversations à ce sujet. Before the summit started today, I met with President Biden to discuss a range of issues. There's a lot going on in the world right now. And the relationship between Canada and the United States is very important in how we engage with all these issues. Of course, we talked about the Middle East and uh, Hamas's terrorist attack. We've all seen too much horror these last weeks. Kids being killed, pregnant women needing care, communities devastated. You don't need me to describe the horror because we're seeing it every night, every time we open social media. We all want it to stop. We need a humanitarian pause. But let me repeat what needs to happen and what needs to happen now. First, all the hostages need to be released. We need much more aid going to the Palestinian people, and we need innocent civilians to be protected in Gaza and, increasingly, in the West Bank, including from extremist settlers. On the issue of Canadians and their families in Gaza, we are encouraged by the assurances that Minister Joly received from Israel and from Egypt that Canadians and their families will be able to leave Gaza in the coming days. We will not stop until all Canadians are brought out to safety. On va continuer de travailler avec nos partenaires dans la région et ailleurs dans le monde, y compris ici, bien sûr, aux États-Unis. Merci d'être ici aujourd'hui.